Hello again, everyone. Tom Lucci here. Alongside me is Sarah Baumgartner, the Senior Associate Athletic Director and Chief Development Officer for Rutgers. And uh, we're here to discuss a popular topic, it seems to be every year, uh, football parking. We've seen a dramatic increase in, in season ticket sales for football and in donors. How does that impact football parking? What are the concerns? What are the challenges for you in trying to arrange football parking? I'm, well, one, I'm very excited to be with you, Tom, so thanks for having me today. And I think this is a great topic to talk about and kind of present what are the uh, challenges, but what are the amazing opportunities for our fans to um, experience football game day like they never had before. So yeah, we've increased our donors, increased ticket holders, which presents us some issues, and it's our job to tackle those uh, on a daily basis. What's new? in 2015 as far as football parking. What, uh, what can fans look forward to as, as change is something different? Well, one of the biggest things we've been looking at is just egress. We know that there are limited amounts of arteries from the stadium uh, on game day, and that's, you know, one, it provides us great access to parking near the stadium. So it's a great thing to have, but part of that presents a problem in the fact that it's very difficult to leave. We've got cars, we've got walkers, we've got bus riders. So egress is a huge issue that we're trying to tackle. We've gotten a lot of feedback. Our fan advisory board is also tackling that as well. But one of the biggest things is how do we uh, allow people the option to buy parking that gets them out of the lot the fastest, the easiest, the most efficient way possible. And so that's one of the biggest things that we hope to improve upon this year as far as a better fan experience for our customers. If you're a season ticket holder, how do you qualify for the various parking lots, the different parking lots? That's a great question, uh, one we get a lot of, but the biggest, uh, there's probably three ways you should know about how to get parking. One, you have got to be a member of our fund, which is a minimum donation of $100, and each lot that we have uh, has a minimum donation attached to it, so make sure that you're making the qualifying minimum donation, and all donations need to be made by April 30th of 2015. That's the first step, is make sure that you're a member of our fund and you're making your gift that qualifies you for the lot that you'd like to purchase. And then the other question that comes up quite a bit is how do I get more than one pass? And that is a, is a question that we're trying, we've evaluated, we're trying to make sure that we um, put value to how many season tickets that donors are buying and also put value to the donation that donors are, are making as well. So those are two of the main criteria in order to purchase multiple parking passes uh, in our donor parking. At some point as uh, season ticket holders try to uh, assess and figure out where they want to park, do they have to make a determination about what's more important in terms of egress or tailgating, is that a factor? Absolutely, I, I think that if you're someone who wants to get out right away post game, then really evaluate our parking map. And as you look at what are the best ways in egress closest to where you live, absolutely pick that lot. And if, if after the game it's not as important for you to get out as fast, then, then pick the lot that for you is the best game day experience for, for family, friends, neighbors to tailgate. Well, I know we just had our first fan advisory board last Thursday. What were some of the things that came up that was a parking related discussion uh, what are their concerns? Uh, what were they asking about? What was the uh, the topic and the discussion like? Well, the fan advisory did have the first meeting on Thursday, and it was fantastic. For those who don't know, it's a it's a board made of 25 fans, ticket holders, donors across all 24 sports, not just football, men's basketball, and women's basketball, but every sport. However, we know that uh, with football season coming up very soon, one of the very first topics we wanted to address with this group was the, was the football parking. What else do, do fans need to be aware of as they prepare to renew their, their parking for 2015? What's the most important thing right now that they need to do? I would just really encourage you to look at two things. The first is the actual parking map. We've really spent some time on the egress from every lot that we have that is a donor lot next to the stadium. So I, I just encourage donors, ticket holders, to go on, check out the lot that you've been used to parking in, and also read the details on, on how egress will happen from each of those lots and make a decision based upon what's most important to you. Leaving quickly, leaving early, and or you know, just having the best experience you know you want to have in that lot. And the second thing is to make sure that you have made your uh, gift to the R Fund. You, we, we really are encouraging donors to make their gift early, make it often, and also understand the minif minimum qualifying donation um, that, you wanna, that you need to make to be in your parking lot. And we'll get back to you uh, as, as issues come up. Uh, I'm Tom Lucci, that's Sarah ba Baumgartner. If you haven't seen her around at different events, you should come up to her, say hello. She's very friendly, much friendlier than I am. <laughs> so uh, she's at all the events and she'll be happy to talk to you. We'll talk to you next time.